Hello everybody, how y'all doing? This is Disorganized Man reading the update, the news, the various news. It's sort of a monthly update of all what's been going on in the month of May 2009. And uh, the first story is, uh, it says, Younger Sikhs giving up long hair and turbans. You see that? You see that article? Uh, so I have to say, that, damn, this doesn't look normal. Wow, man, I like this. Damn, they look almost normal. I like this, man. This is a new hip thing going on. See that? When he was 14 years old, this child wanted to play in a pool and do all the things that normal children would do. But due to his religious customs, he felt restricted and restrained and restrotted. So now he feels he can be in a normal civilization, so to speak. A Western, I should say, civilization. It's not fair to all the religious people. Keep doing your thing. It's all cool. You got the beard, that's fine. I don't want anyone chasing me with a big knife or anything like that. It's all good. That's story number one. Number two, customers knock charge for extra large bras. As you can see, customers knock charge for extra large bras. And uh, Anyway, I just have a question for this, Pete. This has happened in England, actually, where the women were paying a lot of extra money because their bra sizes were a lot larger. And I just have to say, uh, is there any way I could be a spokesman for the company? I'd like to chill. Yeah, this sounds like a good company to work for, man. I want to, you know, all these, like, younger versions of Dolly Parton, man. If you all need a shoulder to cry on, this organized man, Dan Barkan, is right here to help you. I mean, they were frustrated with their sales attempt. Marks and... Marks and Spencer is a big department store chain in England. Sorry about me picking my nose there. Uh, but they're charging $3 extra for a double D size and larger. Wow. This is definitely a club I want to chill with, man. Man, all these poor women, all the stuff they must be going through right now with that extra money fee. Like I said, if you do need a shoulder to cry on, and the man is here. That's story number two. Here's another story. A Saudi girl, eight years old, granted divorce from husband. You see that? Anyone? Let's see. I'm not making this up. I just have to say, damn, man. Eight years old, brides? Come on, guys, get that together, man. You're scaring me here, man. Hello? Hello? There's a bit of an age difference there, mates. So uh, at least she's being granted a divorce from a 50-year-old. You know, uh, man, I thought I liked young women, but at least I started legal, 18 and older. Man, 50 years old? Eight? Come on, brothers. Damn. Here's another one. Uh, priests, escapades, or sex, sex escapades, fire up celib celibacy debate. Wow, man. It says a local a priest in Miami was doing Nazi things, and uh, wow, man. You go, boy. You go, boy. Damn. Very cool. That's all I have to say, man. You go, oh boy. All these babes you're with. No, I'm just kidding, actually. If, if you are a priest, you should stay true to the um, confines of the monk association, of the non-association of the priesthood and nuns, and uh, they'll continue the great work they do. And uh, But damn, these chicks you're with, man. You the man. You the man. That's the story. And finally, last but not least, a very interesting story here. And... Uh, Wow, this looks really cool. This is, um, it was a Saudi Arabia beauty pageant, and here's one of the contestants. Here's the headline, Saudi pageant. And uh, let's see if we can get a picture of her. I only have sort of one thing to say about, about that um, beauty contestant is, uh, yikes, wait a second. I can't even see you. Damn. Wait a second. Oh, it's on, okay, inner beauty. That makes sense. That's cool. You want to see the intelligence, but like I said, man, I can't even see you. So I can certainly, this better be very inner beauty. Damn. Wow. Hey, man, do what you got to do, man. It's all about the mind here. All that other stuff is superficial. I totally dig what you guys are trying to do in Saudi Arabia. It's cool. Keep up the good work. And I'll talk to you all soon. Disorganized man, Dan Barkhan, saying ciao and uh, arrivederci and uh, hello, goodbye. Salam alaikum, shalom, au revoir, danke schön, talk to you all later. And uh, from the confines of New Jersey, you all rock, it's all cool. If you believe in this or you believe in that, you got your say. DB checking out with you. Peace.